Andy's working on a 7.3 on an excursion here. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of diagnostic work on an injector issue. So we've got an electrical issue for a um, high to low side uh, problem with this truck. So what Andy's doing is he's moving uh, the wiring um, over one injector so we can help diagnose this. Right now we've got an issue, it's showing um, injector number three. So we're gonna move the wiring for injector three over to injector five. And uh, that's going to tell us if the injector is the problem or if the IDM or wiring is the issue. So once he gets this done, we'll step into the truck and look at the laptop and uh, show the test that we're doing. Here's an illustration of what we're doing on a wiring diagram. So right here, uh, labeled D, injector number three, that wire is um, brown and yellow. The other one over here, injector number five, labeled F, that one is tan and black. So Andy is cutting over here in the middle and switching those. And then we're gonna see if our readings are the same on the injector test. This is the initial test result that we get. Running a four scan here, we get cylinder number three, high to low side open. So we're gonna see if this code changes um, once we switch the injector wiring. If it does change, if it still says number three, high to low open, then we know we have a problem with the IDM or the wiring. If this code follows and now goes to injector number five, we know that the problem is with the injector. Okay, we've got everything hooked up. We're gonna go ahead and rerun this test. Now if we see cylinder number three come up again, then we know we have an IDM or a wiring problem because we have switched the wiring from three to five. So the code should not follow it if the injector is good, or the solenoid is good at least. All right, so it stayed on three. So now we know for sure uh, that the issue is either within the wiring to um, injector number three or inside the IDM itself. Because we had a code for number three before, but now the wiring to number three is going to number five, which never had a code before, but it's still telling us we have a problem with number three. So we know what we've got to do as far as um, where we need to look next. We're going to trace the wiring, see how everything looks there, and then take a look at the IDM. Uh, but I just wanted to do this quick short video in case you're trying to figure out um, an issue with an injector and trying to pinpoint if your problem is the injector or the wiring of the IDM.